announces I hereby call the City Council meeting for April 10th, 2017. Order, please rise and smoke the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Councilors. Uh, Councilor Cruz. Uh, thank you. Uh, it's a really happy thing I want to uh, congratulate somebody on, but it's a sad day for the City of Brockton. Uh, I think most of you people read the paper this past week that uh, our longtime counsel to the city council, <coughs> Mark Day, has received an appointment from the governor to the Superior Court. I can't imagine somebody with a better uh, sentiment and a better uh, uh, temperament to serve the people of, the, of Massachusetts on the Superior Court, but I can tell you and everyone that's in this room and every counsel that's been here for the last 30 years can tell you we are going to greatly miss Mark Day when he gets his acceptance and uh, his vote in, at the, uh, the Governor's Council. And I personally will miss having Mark here to, for his guidance and his, and his help. And congratulations. Well, you know what, Council? I mean, we, we all uh, we all have worked with Mark for many many years. Uh, he's a gentleman, and he's a gen he's really a gentleman and a, and a gentle man. He's a heck of a lawyer, and we really have been served well by him. And uh, we wish him luck. And uh, we we know that the Governor's Council will definitely do the right thing. And uh, even though I'm a Democrat, I think the the Republican Governor did an excellent excellent nomination. So kudos to you, Attorney Gilday. Um, with that being said, councils, we're going to move on to agenda item number one, please. The acceptance of the minutes of March 27, 2017, the City Council meeting. Accepted and placed on file. Petition, uh, petition of Renee license to solicit and canvas on behalf of IGF Energy Supplier of Energy for National Grid. Time having arrived, I'm going to declare the hearing open. Is there anyone here in favor? If so, please come to the podium. Uh, please state your name for the record, sir. How are you doing? Uh, my name is Malik Rene. I am an employee with IGS Energy, uh, requesting permission to solicit in Canvas in the city of Rockton. Mr. Rene, thank you for being here tonight. We appreciate that. Councilors, any questions for Mr. Rene? Councilor Barnes, followed by Council Fowell. Thank you, uh, Mr. Chairman. And I'm going to wave standing tonight, Councilors. Thank you. Um, so, just so I can get it clear, I've, I've been visited by several of these, you know, save on your electricity bill companies. Is this what this IGS is? You'll be visiting people's homes, trying to solicit um, that they leave National Grid or to come with your energy company? Uh, yeah, essentially. Uh, so, due to the law that passed in, I believe, 1994, um, due to deregulation, uh, the homeowner has the option to choose who their supplier of energy is. So, uh, National Grid will always be the deliverer of energy. But us with IGS, we are suppliers of energy. So yes, uh, roughly speaking, they'll have the option to choose who the supplier is. So I will be knocking on doors, correct? Yeah. OK, so now, do you have, um, I, I guess, a, a policy handbook or something that you, know, you don't go like before 8 o'clock in the morning, you don't go after 7 o'clock at night or anything like that? Yep. Um, so I'll be in the city from about noontime up to about 8 PM. And is it just you? Are you the sole provider, or do you have employees or partners? No, uh, I'm the, I'll be the account manager for the city of Brockton. So me only. Only me. You only. OK. Yep. Will you have an office here? No. My office is out of Waltham, Mass. Uh, there may be on a rare occasion that's like uh, another employee from another, another account manager needs to shadow me or train with me. Mm -hmm. um, but generally speaking, I'll be the only employee in the, in the city. OK. And not, you've not been here before. IGS has not attempted to come in before to, to be the um, supplier. Not from my further understanding, no. Okay. All right. How did you choose Brockton? Uh, I'm actually a local resident. Oh. Uh, my mother lives on Warren Ave. Um, so I'm here all the time. And uh, when I got the list of cities to choose from, I was like, yeah, I'll take Brockton. Oh, okay. You're real local. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> all right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Boss. That's a follow up. Uh, actually, my questions were answered. Thank you, Mr. Uh, President. Any other questions for Mr. Renee? Mr. Renee, the only question I have uh, you've, had, you've had a Corey. Corey background check. Yep, in order for me to stand here in front of you, I had to go to the police station and get a Corey check. Yep. Thank you. Thank you, sir. <coughs> Anyone else here uh, in favor of this matter? Anyone here in favor? Third and final one here in favor. Anyone here in opposition? Anyone here in the chamber in opposition? Third and final. I'm going to declare that part of the hearing closed. Uh, and now the matter is going to come before us, counselors. All in favor of granting petition by hand vote? All opposed? That passes.
Thank you very Thank much. You. Uh, my in. last question, uh, will I be able to get a badge or something um, to walk around with in case I get like police called in me or something? Hey, so, so now the council voted on it. You have to go to City Hall. You have to go to Mr. Zioli. He's the city clerk's office. Okay. It's on the same floor, second floor, same floor as the mayor's office. Go to him, and, and then he will direct you vis-a-vis -vis his office, will direct you to go to the police department, get the necessary requirements to be able to go out and canvas. Thank you. Okay, thank have you. Have a good evening, sir. Thank, thank you. We're going to go on to agenda item number uh, three, please. Petition of National Electric DBA, National Grid, and Linden Power Company, DBA, National Grid, Joint Petition for Distribution Line Franchise Rights for permission to increase the number of lines and cables over East Street. The installation of the new fiber optic cable is part of the refurbishment of an existing transmission line located next to said distribution line <coughs> that involves the replacement and installation of certain equipment and facilities. Time having arrived, I'm going to declare the hearing open. If there's anyone here in favor, please come forward to state your name. Good evening. Yes, good evening, uh, counselors. Um, for the record, my name is Joshua Lee Smith. Uh, I'm an attorney with the law firm of Bowditch and Dewey. Uh, tonight, I'm here representing uh, co-petitioners, Massachusetts Electric Company as well as New England Power Company, uh, both doing business as National Grid. Um, <clears throat> the petition that we uh, submitted to the council uh, back on April 4th uh, is pretty straightforward. Uh, what the company is seeking is grant of location or franchise rights in connection with a uh, certain street crossing uh, over East Street. Um, <clears throat> the company is uh, seeking under Chapter uh, under GL Chapter 166, Section 22, uh, a, this grant of location to allow uh, the company to, uh, in, it, with respect to this specific project, install an additional uh, what's called an ADSS line. This is a type of a communication line, a fiber optic line, that allows uh, uh, the company's various substations to talk to one another. Um, <clears throat> by when I say talk to one another, this is. Um, uh, a mechanism by which uh, it allows substations to, to operate more efficiently uh, as well as um, improve the overall reliability of the grid. Uh, so this is a, a very common type of a, a facility that's added, uh, especially to distribution lines, which, is the, which are the types of supports on which this particular uh, line is going to be added. Um, and uh, uh, again, this is, this is a, a necessary uh, uh, piece of equipment uh, that is, um, will serve uh, and improve the overall reliability uh, of the uh, electric grid. Thank you very much. Anyone, any questions for our legal counsel? Uh, Councilor Cruz followed by Councilor Bonds. So is this uh, low voltage or is this high voltage? Or what? Uh, this particular, what's being added is no voltage at all, actually. No voltage it's, at it's all. a fiber optic uh, cable. Okay. Um, it's similar to what Verizon might have, except in this case, it's not to transmit uh, data for cables for your home, home cable services, but rather, as I said, uh, communications between the substations themselves. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Council. Council Bonds. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. So um, in, in the statement here, it says to increase the number of lines and cables over E Street. That's plural. So how many, how many lines are we looking at that are going to be installed? For, for, for this particular project, uh, we're, the company is looking to install one additional line. And just for clarification, uh, for this again, for this particular project, for this particular crossing, uh, the company is contemplating the addition of this ADSS communication cable. However, you are correct, uh, Councillor, that um, uh, the company is seeking, as part of its franchise rights, the, the right uh, to uh, add additional lines as well, which is customary for these types of distribution uh, supports. So in other cities where you where you know, you've probably done this before. Is it customary to, I guess, ask for the entire cake and then, you know, kind of chop it up as you feel the need to later? Or do you, would you come back to say, we need to put in another line? We need to put in another line? Uh, it, yes, it's, uh, it is customary, again, for these types of distribution poles uh, to uh, provide for the, the number of wires that are requested in our petition. And so the, the company would rather not waste the, the municipalities' time and resources, uh, nor mine, nor the companies, uh, to have to come back again. I see. Um, I see. I understand. Yes. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Sure. Thank you, Council. Council Fowler. What would you say would be the maximum number of lines, if you know? Forty at most, which, 40 is, at most? which is set forth in our petition. All right. 
So if the, if the granting were for no more than 40, that would be acceptable? Correct. And, and just for clarification, as part of our petition, uh, we, as, as the company customarily does, uh, we submitted as part of that petition a draft order uh, as well as a plan uh, so that the council and the city is aware of where the street crossing is. Um, and in that draft order, uh, we have indicated the request, as well as the petition, we've indicated the, the number of wires, the height clearances, all in accordance with, and consistent with uh, industry practice as well as the company's internal policies, as well as National Electric Safety Code. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you Council. Sir. Any other questions for legal counsel? Seeing none, is there anyone else here in favor? If so, please come to the podium. Anyone here in favor? Third and final. That part of the hearing closed. Anyone here in opposition? Anyone here in opposition? Third and final. Anyone here in opposition? That part of the hearing is closed. We'll take a vote at the end of the meeting on that matter. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. We'll go on to agenda item number four, please. The report of the Public Safety Committee for its meeting of April 3rd, 2017. Accepted and placed on file. The report of the Finance Committee for its meeting of April 3rd, 2017. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the Council President of Appointments to the Brock and Women's Commission, Cassandra Martinez, Brock and Kimberly Zavola, and Lizette Johnson. Accepted and placed on file. And councilors, please remember those are the three uh, that I appointed and the mayor, we just ratified eight, so the total uh, of the board is now complete, councilors. Number six, please. An artist submitting Article 2 of the revised ordinances of the City of Brockton. Article 2 of the revised ordinances of the City of Brockton, hereby amended by inserting the following new section, 2 382 minimum qualifications for director of personnel and council September 26, 2016. Council, the question is uh, on ordination by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, if you could kindly read the roll. Hazak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Bobbergar. Yes. Ionier. Yes. Farwell. Yes. Lally. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Stavinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Nine in the affirmative. Councilors, the order is hereby ordained. <coughs> Number seven, please. <coughs> Mr. President. Council. Make a motion we take seven through 11, I believe it is, collectively. Second. Motion on the floor to take agenda item seven through 11 collectively is a proper second. All in favor? All opposed? That motion carries. Seven through 11 collectively, please. The following petitions are for the location. First one is 74 B Plank Street. Uh, Bernardo Auto Repair for Motor Vehicle Repair Mechanical License. Next address is 967 Montello Street, Unit A, Solid Air Care Corp for Motor Vehicle Repair Mechanical License. At 967 Montello Street, Unit C and D is a mechanical license for DBA J and B Auto Repair and Frameworks for Motor Vehicle Repair Mechanical License. At 967 Montello Street, Unit E is a automobile repair mechanical license for Renato and Ron Auto Repair. And the uh, last petition there at 967 Montello Street, Unit F, is from Roland Automotive for Motor Vehicle Repair Mechanical License, located at that address. Councils, we're taking them collectively. Mr. Number President, seven has a stip on it. Mr. President, I, I made my motion incorrectly. Seven has a different stipulation than eight through, eight through 11, I believe. Right. Number seven is stipulated the building department provide council with approval as to zoning. Eight, nine, ten, eleven is stipulated upon submittal of a plan compliant with the ordinance and acceptance to building inspector and fire prevention counselors. So eight through eleven are essentially the ones we wanted to take together. I'd like to like to withdraw my motion. Like to withdraw my motion to take those collectively and do seven. Okay, we'll take number seven and then we'll take eight through eleven with a vote collectively. <coughs> number Mr. seven. Just a point of information. Do, do we have from the building department the issue that was raised in public safety about this being an I-2 zone and whether or not that building was vacant? Not yet, Council. We do not. All right. So, that, so I think that should go back to public safety then. I would, I, I would move that that item number seven go back to public safety for further uh, Second. review. Second. Second. And we will, uh, did you read that in its entirety, Mr. Clerk, number seven? Seven? Yes. Number seven would be <coughs> Bernardo DBA, Auto Repair for Motor Vehicle Repair Mechanical License, located at 74B Plain Street, Brockton, Mass., in the clerk's office, October 17, 2016. Hearing is signed for March 13, 2017, 
at 8 p.m. at City Council, March 13, 2017. Council will follow a motion to refer to public safety was properly seconded. Motion carried by a vote. And March 13th, uh, 2017, with the public safety, it was favorably as stipulated along the building department to provide council with approval of the zone. Thank you, Mr. Clerk. Councilors, we have a, a motion on the floor, properly second, referring agenda item number seven back to public safety. All in favor? All opposed? That motion carries. Referred back to public safety. We now need motion to do, now I'll make a motion we can wait through all that. Before, uh, before we get to that, Councilors, I'm going to ask, do, do we have any of this information yet that you're aware of relative to the uh, STIPS? There was a plan received. However, the committee had requested that the plan designate which units, particular parking spaces, would be utilized by. In addition, after that designation is made, the building department and the fire department need to approve it. So we do have the plan, but it does not contain the information that was requested. So it would be appropriate to refer those matters back to public safety. To follow. Motion to send back to public safety. Second. second. Motion, uh, motion is made. It's properly second at 8, 9, 10, 11. Uh, that we were going to take collectively is motion on the floor, properly second, refer it back to public safety. All in favor, hand vote. All opposed, motion carries. Those are referred all back to public safety. Thank you. Yep. Yes. Agenda item 12. Uh, Mr. President. Councilor. Motion to take items 12 through 16 collectively. Second. 12, second. 12 through 16, Councilor. Yep. Second. So motion on the floor, properly seconded. Agenda items 12 through 16 collectively. All in favor, hand vote. All opposed, that motion carries. Thank you, Councilor. 12 through 16, Mr. Click, collectively. <laughs> what are the common necessity and convenience of the inhabitants of the city of Brockton require the laying out and acceptance of Bernard Road from Rodney Street Easterly and Otterly, a distance of about 1,566 feet. And for that purpose, it's necessary to take easement for highway purposes and lay out as a public street away. Common necessity and convenience of the inhabitants of the city of Brockton require the laying out and acceptance of Bernard Circle from Bernard Road, northerly and easterly to Bernard Road, a distance of about 605 feet. And for that purpose, it's necessary to take an easement for highway purposes and lay out as a public street away. That the common necessity and convenience of the inhabitants of the city of Brockton require the laying out and acceptance of Horn Street from Winter Street, northerly, a distance of about 1,737 feet. And for that purpose, it's necessary to take an easement for highway purposes and lay out as a public street away. Or that the common necessity and convenience of the inhabitants of the city of Rockford require the laying out and acceptance of Talbot Street from Patrick's Drive, subtly a distance about 502 feet, to the subtly lines of lots 172 and 183 on the following described plan. And for that purpose, it's necessary to take an easement for highway purposes and lay out as a public street away. Audit that the common necessity and convenience of the inhabitants of the city of Brockton require the laying out, except for the Parkers Drive from Old Ash Street, westerly to Emory Street, a distance of 733.61 feet. And for that purpose, it's necessary to take an easement for highway purposes and lay out as a public street all the way. Thank you, Mr. Clerk. Councilors, agenda items 12 to 16 collectively. The question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, if you could kindly read the roll. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Beauregard. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Pioneer. Yes. Farwell. Yes. Lally. Yes. Monahan. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Kennedy. Councilors, those orders collectively adopted. <coughs> Councilor. I move for reconsideration. Hopes it does not prevail. Second. Second. 12 through 16. Motion made properly seconded. Reconsideration. Hopes it doesn't prevail. Agenda items 12 through 16. All in favor of reconsideration. All opposed. Motion for reconsideration does not prevail. Thank you, Councilor. 17, please. An appropriation of the total grant in the amount of $70,000 for Mass Department of Public Health Bureau of Substance Abuse Services grant to the Proctor Mayor's Office, Mass Department of Public Health Bureau of Substance Abuse Services grant fund in Council March 27, 2017. Ready to refer the Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Questions on adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, kindly read the roll. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Beauregard. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Pioneer. Yes. Harlow. Yes. 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 Appropriations adopted, councils. 
resolved by Senator Michael Brady to respond to city council inquiries as to the status of the gambling building in council March 13, 2017. Refer the committee on finance that report is favorable. Questions on adoption by roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please read the roll. Ajax. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Beauregard. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Pioneer. Yes. yes. Firewall. Yes. Lally. Yes. Money. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Council, is that resolved to adopt it? Council Azak. Mr. President, um, with this favorable recommendation on this resolve, I've asked that our city clerk um, send a letter to the governor to express the dying need of uh, the Brockton College Collaborative for the economic development of our downtown. So the clerk has this letter in, uh, in office and it will be sent from the, um, on behalf of the full city council. Uh, I would also like to ask that our mayor, our school committee, and our business associations do the same in hopes that it brings us back to the table, bring, bring it back to the table and have uh, hopefully get this college collaborative, get it talking uh, about it again and get it to Brock. Thank you Thank very you. much, Councillor. It needs to be done. Thank you, Councillor. Uh, agenda item number 19, please. So the city solicitor or the designee and the collector treasurer appear before a committee of the city council to discuss the policies, procedures, and financial data relating to taking possession of properties, and be it further resolved that data relating to properties taken by tax title during the fiscal year 2016 and the fiscal year 2017 through the date of this resolve, including addresses, assessed property values, prior to tax title proceedings, amount of proceeds from sales of individual properties, names of persons or entities to whom property was sold and transferred, and expenses relating to taking possession of the properties to be made available to, this, to the City Council five days prior to any public discussion to allow for proper review. In Council March 13, 2017, before the Committee on Finance, that report is favorable. Council's questions on adoption by roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please read the roll. Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Beauregard. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Pioneer. Yes. Firewall. Yes. Lally. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Kennedy and Furman. Resolve is hereby adopted, Councils. <coughs> An audit amended chapter two of the revised ordinances of the City of Brockton, be it ordained by the City Council of the City of Brockton as follows. Chapter 20, Streets and Sidewalks, and the complete street ordinance as ordained by vote of the City Council on October 11, 2016, is hereby amended. Referred to Ordinance Committee. Order that the City Council accepts the grant of easement from the City of Brockton to Mass Electric Company to construct, reconstruct, repair, maintain, operate, and patrol for the transmission of high and low voltage electric current and for the transmission <coughs> of intelligence and telephone use, one anchor and guide, and all necessary equipment and purposes over, across, under, and upon the area of the here and after described property owned by the City of Brockton, Southern <coughs> Side of Center Street originate from existing pole number 21 upon a certain portion of parcels of the land described in the deed dated December 18, 1998. That is referred to Finance Committee. The result of the representative of the Brockton Court Service Center of the George M. Covert Courthouse be invited to appear before a committee of this council to inform and educate elected leaders and the Brockton community about the support and resources available at the Brockton Court Service Center. For the Finance Committee. We have the granting petition has been filed and meeting notice provided by law is hereby audited that Mass Electric Company, DBA, National Grid, and Linden <coughs> Power Company, DBA, National Grid, the representative successes and assigned, being hereby granted location for permission and consent to construct, maintain, <coughs> repair, operate, and use existing lines for transmission and distribution of high and low electric power data and other intelligence up and upon and along, go over and across the city public way in the city of Brockton as <coughs> requested in its petition dated April 4, 2017, by adding an additional wire, all wires, to be strung across and along said property, way between structures of private property, East Street. Constance, the questions are granted by a hand vote. All in favor? All opposed? Motion carries. It's, uh, it's granted. Uh, Councilors, a couple of uh, pieces of information. First of all, I want to thank our, uh, the Dean of the Council, uh, Ward 3 Council, Ian Airy, for, uh, for really uh, stepping in and filling in for the Finance Committee last week. I appreciate it. Thank you, Councilor. Also want to thank, uh, again, Ward 3 Councilor uh, Ian Airy 
uh, the city clerk and attorney Gil Day for, uh, for working with uh, the school department, Mr. Thomas, the assistant superintendent, uh, to get this uh, location. Councilors, I am going to declare that we will be meeting here for the next finance meeting and the next city council meeting. Um, we're, we're really uh, on borrowed time relative to the elevator, and even though it's operational today, there is a chance it could go down. So I think just uh, for transparency and to make uh, our schedules complete and also for our constituents and residents, we will be meeting here for the Finance Committee and City Council uh, for this month. Okay, Councilors? Council Fowler. Uh, no, just I have two items. Okay, Council Fowler, I recognize you. Uh, just a moment of personal privilege. Absolutely. Uh, reminder that uh, this Thursday from 6.30 to 8 at the North Middle School, the Councilors at Large will have their first quarterly meeting. And the second item is a request to you, Mr. President, if you would arrange for an executive session before we lose Attorney Gilday to go over any outstanding litigation that the council has pending so that we bring ourselves up to speed as we attempt to transition through the loss of Attorney Gilday. Absolutely, Council. That, that was on my, uh, my, uh, my list of things to do. And also, in regards to the council last meeting, uh, Council Bob Rodriguez, Fabio, and myself, uh, the, the whole crust of the meeting uh, is a Q&A session. Uh, we won't have any presentations. It's just for the residents, for the voters, and for the taxpayers. So please join us there. Councilor, uh, Councilor Lally. Just a moment of personal Absolutely, Councilor. Um, April 27th, it's a Thursday. It's my birthday, Councilor. Just want to let you know, buddy. Happy birthday, man. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll remember that. Please do. Thank you. There. Um, <laughs> at 7 p.m. at the Brookfield Elementary School, uh, former United States Ambassador to Cape Verde, Vernon Penner, uh, he was actually the first ambassador to Cape Verde, will be, uh, will be there uh, giving a talk about his experiences and things uh, he's done in his uh, storied career in the State Department. He was the first civilian into Lithuania after uh, the Soviet Union left. So it will be a, uh, an interesting talk for all ages. I, wish to note, while I have the floor, any college or high school students who might be interested in looking into a career in the State Department or Foreign Service or something, mm. uh, this would be a very good guy to talk to as well. But I, uh, I encourage you all to come out. It's great. Thank you, Councilor. What time is it? Oh, it's 7, 7, 7, yeah. 7 p.m. at the Brookfield. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Councilor Cruz. Thank, thank you, you Councilor. Just uh, to the members of the ordinance committee, we do have some time sensitive items. There will be an ordinance meeting. It won't be next week because that's school vacation. I don't want to plan it. Uh, I'm looking at the 25th of April to Tuesday night, but I do want to, I'll have to check with our soon to be uh, departing uh, council and make sure he's still available. But uh, I'm looking at the 25th. If that works, everybody let me know. Uh, that's not an official announcement yet. We'll, city clerk will post it. But again, we do have some time sensitive items. Uh, so they'll be, what, excuse me? Uh, to be determined. We'll let you know. Thank you, Council. Council Azak, followed by Council of Oregon. A moment of personal privilege. Absolutely, Council. Um, I'd like to remind everybody that Keep Rockton Beautiful, which is the citywide cleanup, <coughs> is um, Saturday, April 22nd. It starts at seven, um, 8 a.m. and registration is at Heights Crossing up at Christie's Place near the mall. And everybody's welcome afterwards um, for a cookout at Heights Crossing. If anybody wants any information, please contact Pat Sullivan at the Refuse Department. And the number there is 508-580-7827. Thank you. Thank you. Council Borgott. Uh, thank you. Moment of personal Absolutely. privilege. Absolutely. Okay. Thank you. This is um, continuing our update on various meetings that take place throughout the city. Thank and we you, had Council. the Board of Health last week. But they did not have a quorum, so nothing could be voted on. And it was... Uh, an open uh, discussion. So again, that leads me to remind individuals that if you are interested in serving on boards, I know a lot of you have talents and skills and experience that would be advantageous to this community, please uh, forward a letter of interest and a resume, and either you can send it to the mayor's office or to one of the city councilors, and both addresses are 45 uh, School Street, uh, brought in 02301. Uh, we're interested in having a lot of uh, individuals participate in the <coughs> governing and uh, advancement of our city. The other meeting was Water Commission today that was held, and it's a very involved meeting, but one of the things that I want to emphasize that came out of it is that there's going to be a public uh, rate hearing for the water rates uh, on April 19th the, in, in the evening, 
And uh, the, again, the location will be to be determined since we're having elevator issues at uh, City Hall. But this is something to look out for because this is an opportunity for people to speak out and express the concern on increase in water rates for residents. Thank you, Councilor. Councilors, I, uh, I, don't, I don't know if anybody else uh, joined here at Brockton High yesterday, but I, I took my kids and I came to the Brockton Garden Club and Craft Show, uh, and it was very, very uh, well received. And a lot of the, uh, the actual exhibitors were from outside of the city of Brockton, which was nice. It was North Attleboro and Foxboro and the like, and they came here, and it was really a good day. So that's a, that's a real uh, good thing for the city of Brockton. And, and I wanted to also, if we could, take a moment of uh, silence for uh, John Corcoran. Uh, those that know John Corcoran or knew John Corcoran, he was the former proprietor and owner of Eisen Mitchell uh, here in the city of Brockton. And, and it's, uh, it's sad that he passed and he, he leaves his sons and his, his wife Jane unknown Corcoran, just a great, great family. And if we could just remember John right now and his, and his family and our thoughts and prayers. May he rest in peace. Thank you, councils. Anything else before this body? Seeing none, meetings here by adjourned. Thank you.